In 2007 to 2009, I was able to work at Tizer Tower at Maryland Stadium. It's an expansion of the south side of the football stadium uh, where that we put in luxury suites and made it one of the better stadiums in the Big Ten. And what was your job title at the time? I was a superintendent. And what was your role on the project? My role was to coordinate the chaos. And by chaos, I mean having 100 plus workers showing up every day and making sure that they had a plan on what to do, to making sure that when ESPN rolled up for their Thursday night or Saturday night broadcast, that they were had everything that they needed. The stadium was ready because we every other weekend we had 50,000 friends coming over in the fall to walk through the middle of our construction site. And how many years of relevant experience did you have at the time? At the time, I was very young. I'd only ever finished one project before that as a superintendent. And on that project, I actually got promoted to superintendent. So I was nine years in. I wasn't even 30 years old. And here I was in charge of this giant project. I was very proud. And what was a typical day like on this project? That project often revolved around what crisis was on deck. And by crisis, I mean kind of the challenges that would come up every day, whether it be getting ready for a football game with ESPN and their HD cameras, being ready for that, or the simple building process. Uh, we had a three-year project that was needing to be done in two years. And our job was to figure out how to make that work. So, you know, just the normal day often started with me walking the site at 6 a.m. to 7 a.m., meeting with different people throughout the morning, making sure that whatever we needed lined up was lined up. I'd get a brief break for lunch, and then I'd meet with the different stakeholders from the university and my team to make sure everybody knew what was on deck and what was coming. And what did you like about this project? I liked that we were able to do the impossible. We basically shaved a year off a project but didn't have an extra year to give. We Every day was just an amazing challenge of how would we get this thing done, from cutting edge HD technology at the time to coordinating everything and anything coming through this congested college campus. It was just, every we had every reason to fail, yet we worked as a team and succeeded. And who benefits from this project? I like to think a lot of people benefited. Obviously, the university benefited, uh, major exposure, uh, their athletic department, and often athletic department success also ties into student success and their recruiting efforts. State of Maryland did because it was a large economic driver. Uh, the construction companies that worked on it obviously did because it was such a large showpiece, and I did just because it's a favorite project of mine that I, uh, throughout my entire career.